What's up everyone, Fritz here again with another episode and today I have another bot tutorial for you. Today we're going to be covering one of my favorite bots and one that I have used successfully for quite some time and that's going to be Whatbot. Whatbot is a sneaker bot that has now been around for quite some time. It's been around I believe for a little over two years, maybe two to three years in that range. So it does have some staying power. This is not a brand new bot that just got on the scene. It has been around for a while and it has been successful for a while. It has recently, in the past several months, added a Yeezy Supply module, which has been working extremely well. So those are definitely the two sites that you would be focusing on with Whatbot. It's going to be the foot sites. You know, we, we got to see how that plays out moving forward. Yeezy Supply, and they also added a Flex Raffle System module. I'm not going to touch on that today because in a week or two, I am going to do an entire video on bots that have implemented those modules after we've been able to see you know, the Jordan 4s and the Jordan 1 Marina Blues, after we've been able to see how the accounts work and how the bots work, I will be doing an update video on that. So I'm not gonna to touch on that aspect of what bot today. The bot is extremely affordable. It is only $35 a month, so that is a plus. Um, the thing that you do need to keep in mind though is the fact that you can't purchase this bot. It is invite only. So you're not gonna be able to go on a Discord or go on Twitter or find anybody that's just selling it. I mean, I'm not gonna lie, there's people that do sell them, but you've gotta keep in mind that WhatBot is very strict about not selling or renting the keys, so you really are risking you know, your spot in that group and with that bot. So it is invite only. The two ways that I can tell you to go about trying to get into it with the invites are one, go on Twitter, you know, follow them, put on alerts every time they drop invites, enter the form. Two, get in a cook group, which is something I say regularly on this channel, but get in a cook group that's doing group buys with them or giveaways. That's how I initially got my copy. I got my copy from only friends and family like two to three years ago by entering a giveaway. And that definitely helped me move along in my progression and body. So do yourself a favor, follow them on Twitter, turn on your alerts, and also try to get in a group that has some sort of relationship with WhatBot. And I just want to touch on the groups again. Obviously, it can be very frustrating if you are waiting for groups to drop invites because obviously the better groups, you know, they don't have 10,000 people in them, right? You can't keep quality as you scale that much as a group. I'll just be honest. I'm sure some of you realize that when you're in a group, like the more people in the group, likely the less professional it is, likely the less useful it is. So I'm just saying that again, because you really do need to pay attention to the quality of the information, the giveaways, and the group buys that your groups or your cook group is offering, right? I'm in several of them at this point. Um, that's beneficial to me for several reasons. One, because I have more information sources and two, because I have a lot of opportunities to get group buys or giveaways from each group. Now, I'm not going to tell you to do this. I would never tell you to do this, but some of you could go onto a discord server and you could find invites for sale. I would never tell you to do that, but you know, if you ain't cheating, you ain't trying. So. Just leave it at that. Like I said, I would never tell you to do that. Unfortunately, like I mentioned at this time, what bot cannot be rented. You know, that is, that's up to them, right? Some bots can, some bot can't. So this isn't a bot that you're necessarily gonna be able to give a trial run with or get a trial run for. It's more so gonna be, you know, whether you're lucky enough to get one of those invites. And I would recommend if you do get one, I would at least try to jump on it. Depending on the bots you have, this could easily be the best easy supply bot that you have. You know I mean? I'm not sure everybody's unique situation, but for a lot of people, this would be an outstanding option for Yeezy Supply and definitely foot sites. So, you know, you've got to do your research, ask around, ask the people that you trust, but this is a very good bot. You're not going to be able to rent it and you're also not going to be able to buy it. So just do your best to get an invite and just make sure you're throwing your hat in the ring as many times as you can. Anyways, here's the quick tutorial on screen for this bot. Uh, it is relatively quick because again, this bot is very easy to set up. The UI is very simple. So this is a quick video. Uh, as always, if you've got any questions, comments, debate topics, anything you want to talk about, please feel free to leave me a comment or question below in the comment section. And other than that, just check back in a couple days. I should have another live cop up and I should have some more episodes up on just the general state of botting and how you know things should go this year, as well as some top bots for 2022. So until next time, see ya. All right, so starting off with the footage, this is a very simple bot. Um, as I mentioned, really, foot sites, easy supply, that's it right now, which is fine. You don't need to do everything, but this will be pretty straightforward. Um, so just real quick, we've got our task. 
category here. We've got a profile category here, proxies, and then settings. So I will go back through now and go through each one of those in more detail. All right, so starting off, we have you know your logs there. So if you're interested in what's really happening with the bot and the feedback in real time or after, you can look at the logs there. Obviously, if you want to deactivate your license key, you can do that right there. And then here we have our webhook and our CAPTCHA or autosolve. So for the webhook, you can either pick Discord to get it sent to your Discord or you can pick Slack. Um, if you've got WhatBot, you know by now that they operate in Slack as opposed to Discord. So you can pick whichever one of those you want. And then all you got to do is head in, put in your URL or your webhook, test it, and it should be good to go. You should get a you should get a notification right away in that Discord or Slack channel. So that's how you can go about doing that. Just copy and paste there, hit test, and then we also have right here our, our like I said, auto solve. Um, information input so you are going to be you know if you've got two captcha and you would like to use that you can put that in there again that is a third party a separate company that you are getting capture solves from you're purchasing them so you would enter that there or if you've got AYCD auto solve you click that and you're going to put in your access token and your API key again if you want to use auto solve you can use it but you need to input this information here and you're going to get that again from AYCD, not um, not WhatBot. So you need to make sure that you have one of those two services if you are looking to use one of those two services. Um, Autosolve seems to do very well with WhatBot, so that is definitely an option. Uh, might be a good idea to go with that if you have it. But that's what we've got as far as general. For your CAPTCHAs, um, I remember the first time I did this, it kind of threw me for a loop. Um, you know, you've got to figure out how to do the specifics of each bot, but Basically, you're just going to add, you know, let's say, John, right, and I can add just as many as I want, and then it's going to ask me for my information to sign in. So I would enter the, all of those and the proxies here. So I'd enter for default, and I enter my proxy, enter my default proxy. And once you do all of those, it's going to have you signed in on your Gmails and it'll have them saved here. You don't have to do this every time. Now, let's say you've got a list of like eight people or eight different solvers here. When you go over here, as you add them, they're just going to say default, right? And that's all there is. You're not going to change them here. What you're going to do is as you open them, the first one will be default. The second one you're going to go to and you're going to click the bottom, right? So the first one says default and then the second one's going to say default too. You You'd go down here, you would click this and you would click jump. And then as you saw, it's saved over here. So that's how you're going to go about doing that. You only have to do all of this the first time you do it or the first time you upload them and they will be saved for you just moving forward nice and easy to um, access. And then finally for foot sites, if you want to use gift cards, they do have that option here. So that's another nice feature of the bot that you can use when trying to hit on foot sites. But as we all know right now, foot sites as far as first come first serve is kind of not a thing as we currently stand. So, you know, we'll see. I know that what bot is adding or has added the feature where they can enter the flex raffles. So we will have an entire video in and of itself on that with a couple other bots too. So that's all we've got right now for your preferences and your settings. And we'll move next on to proxies. All right, about as straightforward as it gets here, if you know what proxies are, right? You're just gonna create a group, right? Bam, and then you're just copy and paste them right there. You don't have to hit save. You don't have to hit anything. Once you've entered the proxies here, good to go. Um, some bots you do have to worry about saving everything, but not a concern here, literally just make your groups, import your proxies, good to go. So I know again, that's not all that much, but that is what you're looking at with this bot on this category, very simple. All right, next up we have our profile groups. So for this, we are going to you know make whatever groups you want. If you've only got a couple profiles, I remember starting off, I didn't understand the big deal about task groups, but as I've scaled my setup, I've found that to be extremely helpful. So to import anything, right, Obviously, you'd make a group first. 
And for the group, if you want to import, which is obviously very easy and very helpful, um, you go right here and you're going to pick the, pick the file, upload it, and you're good to go. So I'm not going to get into too much about creating. I mean, it's pretty straightforward stuff if you're looking at it on the screen. Um, if you don't know how to do that, then we, we got some other issues. But just input your information, save the profiles, and I put them into groups just for faster task creation and just easy, easier management as far as running the bot, adjusting the bot, and just generally knowing what you're looking for and what, what you have set up and ready to roll. So that is the profile groups. Again, very straightforward. And next we'll move on to task groups. And finally, we have our task creation or task group tab. And for here, I don't have anything up here yet, but just right there, you're going to go up here and this is where you're going to pick the site. So obviously we've got all our foot lockers, you've got all the foot sites, and then you've got easy supply down here. So you're going to pick whichever one. Let's say I'm going to go roll with this since foot sites are, you know, but let's say easy, whatever, right? So I'm going to put that in and be right here. And again, I like with this bot, like I said, that once I just click, I don't have to save everything I do. I know, you know, maybe that's, I don't know how that is on the developer's end, but that makes it really easy. So once you've typed that in, you're good to go. Then you're going to head over to setup. You're going to put your skew in. You're going to pick your proxies. Uh, you can pick start time if, you know, if you're not going to be there. You pick head start, all that stuff. But I mean, for easy supply, you're not going to need that. Uh, you can put in your sizes here. Again, be very, very aware of the fact that, again, there's a space between these, right? Bots can be very, very picky and specific about how you enter information. And a, and a wrong comma here, a wrong comma there can really mess everything up. So please just be specific. If you want random, just leave it. And then this is a big one, right? Obviously, how, how, is it, how are you going to solve your captures? So you can either have them local, meaning the inbot solver, or you can have them on AYCD Autosolve, which is not available because I haven't entered my info in it. But we did go over that on the settings category earlier. So that's where you would enter that information to make that option available. If you want to go down here, you can select one checkout per profile, and you also can select rotate profile on failure. Um, I'm not trying to talk down to anybody, but really, if you don't know what those mean, just really honestly try to think about what the words are saying. Um, I know I've asked a lot of questions like this, so I'm not, I'm not trying to talk down to anybody, but one checkout per profile, right? Meaning it's going to shut down your profiles and not allow them to check out after one of them has, and then rotate profile on failure. So you can rotate the profile to try to maybe not use that same card again. It's really just doing what it says there. Um, depending I don't click this for easy supply and I do click that. So that's what you've got there. Again, just your, your capture solvers, right? If you want it to stop, if you're going to automate any of it, it's in there and then your sizing and then your options there. Finally, for creating tasks, the one thing I will say about this bot and, and you know, I mean, no bot is perfect, but it's really difficult to create a lot of tasks just going going through it, creating them, you know, just one by one. If you're only creating 50 tasks, maybe that's effective, but really what you should try to do is have them in the groups in nice round ish, even numbers like, you know, 20, 25, 50, a hundred, so that you can easily input them and not have to then go in and delete a bunch after. Like I said, this doesn't seem like that big of a deal when you're starting off, but as you scale your setup, you do need to have, more streamlined processes so just take that in mind when you are using this bot that it can be hard to just set up a bunch manually as opposed to if you just go in here and click bulk add tasks right so you pick your size task per profile and then go that from there it's going to make it a little faster and a little easier so that's really all I have for you on what bot. Like I said, it's a very straightforward bot. So if you're using it for the first time, don't be too freaked out. Very, very simple, very easy. Um, they just stuck to the basics and they do an outstanding job. So like I mentioned, this is one of my favorite bots. Um, just due to the fact the nostalgia, um, first one I ever hit with and I, you know, I mean, it really helped me move along when I was just starting off. So 
Hope you enjoyed the footage um, or the tutorial. If you have any questions or need any further help with this bot, like it is pretty straightforward, but feel free to message me, leave any comments in this section below. And other than that, I will see you all next time.